Well, hello everybody. Why are you here? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Yuk. I'm your host. And today we are going to do Ghost Mode Part Two. Okay. So let's just revise what we did in Part One. Part One. In Part One, we uh, learned how we can start our first month of Ghost Mode. What we can do in our first month. What we can improve. What we can change. What we can stop doing. And well, that went great. So let's just go to part two. Let's just start part two. And well, today I have three tips for you. Tip number one is mastering the art of silence. Tip number two is blending with your surrounding. And tip number three is maintaining a mental discipline. Okay. So uh, let's just start the video. Tip number one. The art of silence. It's crucial to move silently and gracefully, leaving no trace of your presence behind. Placing, practice walking on tiptoes and learn to control your breathing. Since is your alley, remember that. And I remember that. Okay, that's what I wrote. But well, as you already know, I don't speak what I wrote. <laughs> So, uh, the art of silence. Okay. First thing to do this is, well, change your behavior. Okay. Learn how to breathe manually. Uh, like when you are walking with somebody or when you are walking in a public place, just breathe slowly so that no one around you notices you. Okay. You you uh, start working in silence. Don't use your phone too much while you are uh, um, outside or while you are somewhere. Okay, just be quiet. Yes, that's one of them. <laughs> okay, uh, you can uh, actually watch some videos on uh, how to be quiet on your surrounding and all, which I think will help you. Anyways, uh, so the okay. Anyways, so next thing what you have to do is just okay. So let's start with uh, let's start. No. Okay, so let's move on to our next. Step which is blend with your surrounding. Okay, to truly become a ghost, you must adapt and blend seamlessly into an environment. Study your surroundings, mimic the way people move and behave. The key is to become one, one with the crowd and mere shadows passing by. Okay, that's what I wrote. Uh, now <laughs> I'm gonna explain what I wrote. So, uh, tip number two is blending with your surrounding. Okay, so uh, you need to ghost everyone. So you don't need to make any contact. Okay. So what you must do is study your surroundings. Like right now, I am sitting in my room. I have turned on only uh, one light, which is a beam light, which is. kind of what I like uh, so let's see I have blue bed sheet a uh, bed sheet so what I will do is I will study all, all of them and well which I already did and I will close like that okay so what I can do is wear darker colors which will work in any surrounding I think until or unless you are in a very bright surrounding like if I had my lights on all of my lights on and well if I had this curtain up I would like to wear white clothes but I have wear one light color and one dark but who cares anyways uh, you start wearing dark color clothes okay uh, try wearing hoodies mostly in the winter obviously uh, try wearing hoodies or uh, try what will you try next okay 
try wearing hoodies, try try wearing uh no not wearing uh try to mimic the people uh the way people move okay so like uh, everyone else moves uh, with the, their uh, phone in their hand and looking da uh, downwards do that okay sometimes you have to fa uh, walk straight but right now you're ghosting everyone so you need to mimic what they're doing you need to mimic how they are behaving like if you are sitting in a play uh, uh, in a waiting room and there are so many people around you but most of them are uh, in their phone so do that be on your phone okay don't do anything just <sighs> so let's go to tip number three which is maintaining your mental discipline now let's just read what we have uh, i have wrote there once uh, tip number five maintain mental disi discipline ghosts have unwavering focus okay and control over their thoughts and emotions clear your mind practice meditation and train your mind to be impervious to distraction only then you can truly harness the power of ghost work okay so what i'm trying to say here is uh ghost like what we are doing is trying to become a ghost uh so ghosts have a tremendous amount of focus okay uh ghosts focus too much so what you can do here is uh practice meditation okay try doing meditation i know meditation is not for all of them so what i do is close all my curtains close my door turn off all the lights sit the uh, sit in the corner of my room with a pillow in my lap okay uh and i just close my eyes uh you don't need anything like no music no phone you you should not have that okay that's the rule close your eyes and just think what uh, you have uh, what you're tr uh, what you're doing right now what you're going to do next what is happening in your life think about that okay uh that was already mentioned in my last video but i thought that is a key point so i should mention is this in this video too so that's that uh think what you are doing think what you will do next think what you, you have done wrong in the past and how you can improve it okay so you have to think that anyways uh then uh uh okay so you will ask what is the difference in meditation and the, uh, this thing uh, so in meditation you have your surrounding like there is no surrounding in meditation you just have to clear your head okay which is hard clearing your head is hard that's why I do this uh, that's already g uh, given me more focus I tend to focus on things more because of that i think so so that's that uh you have to ignore the distractions that's that's one thing like uh my last video on how to use your phone less so what i have done is turned off all my notifications turned off uh child uh, put it my phone on silent mode turned on do not distract uh, turned on gray scale and all so that has tend uh, that tends to be uh, tends to make your phone less interesting and well you use that more so no distractions uh, uh, deleted i have deleted all of my social media accounts that's one thing so anyways uh there's that so that's what uh, what you have to uh, what you have to do in tip number three so uh that concludes uh, our tips of continue, uh, continuing your ghost mode. Remember, being a ghost is not about becoming a phantom. Okay. Uh, now, if you don't know fa what phantoms are, phantoms are someone who only come out at night. Uh, are some kind of birds who only come out at night uh, and ignores uh, ignores everyone. So uh, you don't have to be a phantom, but rather achieving a higher level 
of awareness. Okay, you need to be aware of your surrounding and you need to have control over yourself. Okay, uh, now by that what I mean is uh, control your urges like social media, don't use social media for a week, don't use social media for a month, don't use social media for a year, just don't. Okay. I have currently de deleted my accounts and I don't know why I am mentioning them a lot anyways so uh, control over the, uh, uh, there should be a control over yourself and your environment okay by environment so that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, it would mean a world to me and well I'll see you in my next video bye bye